Hello, St. Bards. Dave here. Happy New Year. Um, here to give you a little update for the week. Um, we are really excited to worship with you this Sunday uh, as we celebrate the Feast of Epiphany, which traditionally mar is marked on the 12th day after Christmas, uh, which happens to be today. So we're actually, as you can do in the church, we're moving the feast day to the Sunday so we can celebrate Epiphany and uh, look at one of my favorite passages in scripture from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 60, where he begins, Arise, shine, for your light has come. Uh, it's going to be an incredible moment as we also baptize, um, have baptisms, so, so, so that'll be great. And we're really looking forward to uh, starting the new year, continuing the new year uh, together in worship and in prayer. Just to give you another for, uh, a, an update about our facility. As you know, we rent from Redeemer Bible Church. And um, hopefully everyone in the church uh, got through the, the recent hard freeze unscathed. Sadly, Dallas Academy experienced significant water damage. And so for the next few months, they are moving their high school uh, into Redeemer Bible Church. So we've been working really closely with Redeemer and with Dallas Academy to share the use of the space. And so um, thank you for your patience with the staff this week. If you've been trying to get a hold of us and we've been a bit occupied, uh, we've been uh, working just getting everything squared away. So Dallas Academy is gonna start, uh, their high school gonna start meeting at Redeemer on Monday, the 9th of January. So we would really value your prayers. Uh, pray for us, pray for the staff, pray for St. Bart's, pray especially for Katie and her children's team because uh, they're having to make adjustments. Pray also for Redeemer. It's an incredible ability to serve the school and would really value your prayers for their pastor, Forrest Wilson, but also for all the students and families at Dallas Academy that how incredible is it that the school building itself is three blocks away and they're able to meet uh, on the premises that we share. And uh, it's going to be a significant, but also an incredible opportunity to serve. And then as we approach the season of Epiphany, Epiphany, uh, which we'll be celebrating, as I said, on Sunday, is really meant to be the time we take everything we've learned in Advent and Christmas about who Jesus is, that he's the light of the world, and that we take it out with us to the world, to the workplace, to our friends, to our families, to our acquaintances, to those we bump into. And, um, and that's what we're going to be uh, exploring as we meet together this Sunday. So every blessing, you'll see a whole bunch of other announcements uh, underneath this in the email, like our Learn to Pray class that we're doing in partnership with All Saints Dallas and uh, how we're looking to relaunch our community groups, connect groups, uh, all that information and more is down below. Until Sunday, every blessing, friends, we're praying for you.